What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Cloudflare to your WordPress website to increase the performance and security of your WordPress website. So let's get right into the video. Now, first of all, as you can see here, this is Cloudflare. You need to go to cloudflare.com. And if you scroll down, you can see some key benefits of the platform and you can scroll down for yourself and read more about each of the benefits to decide for yourself if it's for you. Now, I highly recommend it to increase the security of your website, especially since it already has a free plan. So if you go to pricing here and then compare all plans, you'll see here that they have a free plan as well as a pro business and enterprise plan. Now you can scroll down to compare all the features. However, if you're just starting up with such services, the free plan covers most of the basics you want and it's free to use, so you can experiment with it. And if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan, you can do so. Now, all these prices are for annually plans, or you can see the monthly. So the pro plan, for example, is $20 per month if you pay uh, annually. However, it's 25, so $5 more if you pay monthly or if the payments are billed monthly. Now, you can go ahead and log in, or you can create an account. So let's go back here. You can click on sign up to create an account first. Now here, I will click on the free plan, add to website. And now the Cloudflare dashboard is uh, preparing. And now I'll need to enter my email and then a password to start uh, working with my account. So I'll enter them pretty quickly and then get back to you once I sign up. Okay, now I filled in my email and password and then click on sign up and make sure your password, your password meets all the requirements. Okay, sign up. And now here it is. Now, all I need to do is to click on add a website or application and I can click also on explore or products to well explore or products. However, what I want to do in this video is add a website or application. Now, this is my WordPress website and this is its dashboard, its main dashboard. Now, for this to work, you need to have access to your name servers on your uh, WordPress website or if you have connected a custom domain name from a domain name provider such as GoDaddy in my case, you need to uh, go to your GoDaddy account or whichever domain name provider that you are using. For this video, I'm going to show you how to do this on GoDaddy. However, for any uh, custom domain name provider, the steps should be quite similar. Now, first of all, let's go back to Cloudflare, add a website or application. And now they ask you to enter the domain name, your website's domain name. So I'll go ahead to my uh, GoDaddy account or whichever domain name provider that you use and go to my products here. Okay, it's now loading. And this is the custom domain name that I bought on GoDaddy, how to sample that site. Just copy it and then go back to Cloudflare, paste it right here. Or you can register for a new domain name with Cloudflare. Now I'll hit continue since I don't need to register a new domain name. And now I need to select a plan for how to sample the pro business or enterprise plan. Or if you scroll down, you can see here the free plan. So I'll uh, choose here the free plan or you can choose another plan if you want to, another pay plan. Okay, let's close this pop up. We opened by mistake. I'll just select the free plan and then continue. Okay, and now they ask you to review your DNS records to verify these uh, DNS records below are configured successfully. And to do so, I need to go to my uh, GoDaddy website right here, or domain name, sorry, and then click next to my domain name, click on DNS. And now if you scroll down, you can see your DNS records and you can see here if they are uh, correctly, uh, like uh, written here. So you have to a uh, type record, to CNAME, to MX records. Okay. I have two CNAME records, I have two MX records, and I have one A name and one NS record. So for now, I'll just go ahead and click on continue. And they tell you now that how to simple outside is not active on Cloudflare. That's because I need to update the name servers on uh, my DNS records on the custom domain name. If I scroll down here, I can see how to update new name servers. So I need to assign new name servers to my domain name. If I go here and go to here instead of viewing DNS records, if I view the name servers, you'll see here that you have two name servers, which are the default ones provided by GoDaddy. Here I click on change name servers. Instead of choosing the GoDaddy name servers, you want to choose 
I'll use my own. And now you want to go back to Cloudflare, copy the first name server, okay, or you can just highlight it and copy it, and then paste it here in name server one. Go back, copy the next name server, and then paste it right here, and then click save. Okay, now it's editing, and then it asks you if you want to continue. Okay, click on continue and the name server editing is now success. However, your request is in progress since it might not update like instantly. It might take like a couple of hours or maybe a day at most. Now go back here to Cloudflare and here it uh, tells you that the uh, registration might take up to 24 hours to process the name servers. Okay, let's check the name servers now. Okay, it's now checking the name servers. And it tells you here that you need to wait for a few hours to update. So it's not it's not instant. It takes like uh, up to a couple of hours. And now click on continue. And now here it quicks uh, the get started. And you want to check your automatic HTTPS rewrite. Okay, save. And then always use HTTPS. Check it. Save. And optimize performance. You want to check this one also, the broadly, okay, to speed up your page ta loading time for visitors. Okay, save. And now you can view the summary. So the all these services are on. Click on finish. And now here you should be good to go. Now, as I told you, uh, it might take a few hours or even a day to uh, fully update and fully add Cloudflare to your WordPress website or your custom domain name that you added. And here they give you like a few steps to follow. Now they should email you or they should like notify you once the connection is successful. How it's not active on uh, Cloudflare yet. Here they give you the same options. And here uh, you can view check the name servers now again. Okay, is already being rechecked. You may only submit a recheck once per hour. So all you can do right now is to wait and uh, get notified once the connection is done. And while you are waiting for the connection to be uh, successful and for you, for them to notify you that they've successfully added Cloudflare to your website, you can go ahead and view all the settings like the analytics and login DNS, uh, email routing, uh, all the speed and caching, all the settings that you are uh, going to view and you can edit them as you wait for the connection to be done. So that's pretty much it. You don't need to do anything else. You, all you need to do is just wait. However, that's basically the way to do it. That's how you add Cloudflare to your WordPress website by your custom or using your custom domain names provider.